Hey guys, it's Bill here. Well, it is Saturday morning and Stacy had to get up and run into work. So our morning update is delayed till tomorrow, Sunday. But this morning, it is freezing in this house. Okay, we got, we got the fireplace going. And what we're gonna do is come into our messy kitchen because today we're gonna work on putting together a little bit of chili. This is a, a hybrid chili recipe. This is our chili recipe plus a friend's chili recipe. And we're kind of taking the best of both and mixing it up. So this will be totally an experiment today in the slow cooker. And if it turns out great, then tomorrow in our update, I will share with you exactly everything that we put into it. It's pretty basic though. We got some crushed tomatoes. We're going to use two tablespoons of tomato paste. We've got a jar of roasted salsa verde. Give it a little bit of kick. We are using some black soybean. And in here is a concoction and mixture of all the spices needed, chili powders and things like that. And that's all going to go into the slow cooker with one pound of fresh pork and one pound of ground beef that I already cooked up. So I'm gonna grab those out of the refrigerator, my messy refrigerator. Let's see, where is everything? Uh, I don't know, there's the pork. Oh, also chopped up some celery. Let's see, we chopped up celery. We chopped up, I'm losing my thought here. Uh, celery, onion, um, red pepper, green pepper, and something else. Can't remember. But yeah, we got we got all that chopped up and ready to go into there. We're gonna just dump that in now. Yeah, so all this is gonna get mixed up, put into the crock pot for a nice slow six hour cook today. And there's our ground beef. We got one pound of ground beef going in. It's a very unofficial video. It's not really a recipe, just more of a come hang out with me today. And this is one pound of pork that we cooked up yesterday. Of course, it doesn't want to come out of the little bowl because I'm trying to do it on video. That's why. So I've got everything mixed up in here and we just turned the slow cooker on or low and I'm going to let this cook for about six, seven hours. And tonight, let me tell you, with this cold Michigan yucky weather, this is going to be heaven. I hope it turns out good. One thing I forgot on the recipe is it asks for six cloves of garlic. Well, I don't have any garlic that's in cloves, but I do have minced garlic. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons full of that in there and mix it all up too. And hopefully that'll give it even more yummy flavor. Yeah. 